Hi, my name is Jeremy Sizemore, and I'm the president and co-founder of ASAP Talent Services. We are one of the nation's leading IT executive search firms. And today in my video blog, I really wanna go into uh, creative uh, ways to land the toughest A players. These are the hard to land talent uh, that we know we all want, but they're just a little harder to reel them in. And so I'm gonna give you guys five tips today that I really think uh, can help to uh, land the, the most difficult people. Uh, number one, let's put our sales hat on in the interview process. We have to ask great questions early on. Uh, for example, what do they love about their current opportunity? And uh, where do they want to be in three to five years? And then we want to build those same topics and the answers that you hear from them. We want to build that into your sales pitch on your opportunity and how your role can help them get where they want to be even faster, okay? Step number two, uh, is really what can we do that's non-monetary that can make our opportunity far more attractive to a lot of different candidates in the marketplace. They don't always look at just the dollars. Uh, for no extra cost could we make the title uh, more attractive. For example, if we had a director of IT security role, could we maybe consider making that an, uh, a deputy assistant CISO? Uh, that's just one example. Um, the third tip is also non-monetary and it's work-life balance, it's quality of life and flexibility. Um, th these are things that are really um, appealing to a lot of people. Can our opportunity allow a flexible work schedule? Uh, can we allow occasional work from home? Do we have a virtual uh, workforce and can we build that into our sales pitch around why this opportunity is, is such a good one and so attractive? My last two uh, bullet points are really going to be things that are at offer stage. Um, step four is, can we make our total package offer at least 20% better than their current package? Let's, no lowballing, come with the best offer right off the bat, and maybe even consider a six-month performance review in the offer letter. That's something that we don't always see, but uh, you know, for an A player, that, that lets them know that if I am really doing awesome, I have a chance to get a financial raise and or you know uh, something that can even be better than the offer right now literally at the six month mark and step five is get creative with sign-on bonuses uh, when we can't always get there on the salary what can we do on sign-on that is um, very creative i know everybody's heard of a sign-on i'm talking about getting creative with it for example a thirty thousand dollar sign-on bonus we only give them 10k uh, on their first paycheck the other 10 uh, is at the one year anniversary and the final 10K installment is at the two year anniversary. So they're seeing 30K of guaranteed income on the offer right off the bat. It's on the offer letter and they can include that in the, the total package, but they're not getting all of it right off the bat and it's helping the company uh, with some golden handcuffs from a retention perspective. Hope these things have been really helpful for you guys. Uh, we wish you a great holiday season and look forward to engaging with you more in 2020. Again, Jeremy Sizemore with ASAP Talent.